Hello, in this video we're going to find the values of x for which the series converges and then find the sum of the series for those x values. Alright, so let's take uh, the first problem. Alright, let's take negative 5 raised to the n, x raised to the n. So when n equals 1, this would look like negative 5 raised to the 1, x raised to the 1, plus n equals 2, the negative 5 squared would just be 5 squared, x squared, when n is 3, this will look like minus 5 cubed, x cubed. All right, if you remember the geometric series pattern, which is a plus a r plus a r squared plus keeps going, this is gonna converge when r is greater than negative one and less than one, and it converges to a minus one, a over one minus r where a is the first um, the first thing in the equation. All right, so for this problem, we have that a equals negative 5x, the first thing, and r would be 5, negative 5x, r would be negative 5x, where the absolute value of negative 5x is less than 1. All right. So we take the 5 out of the absolute value, we're going to get 5, absolute value of x is less than 1. We would divide this by 5, so we'd get negative x less than 1 fifth. To get rid of the absolute value, Bring this negative one fifth less than x less than one fifth. So this right here would be the values of x for which the series converges. And now we want to find the sum of the series for those x values. So we just take the formula, this one right here. A we said is negative five x one minus r. R is negative five x minus negative 5x would just be plus 5x. And this is sum of the series for those x values. Okay, let's do another problem. All right, let's take the series ln x raised to the n. When n is 1, this would be ln x plus ln x. When n is 2 squared plus ln x, n is 3 cubed plus keeps going. So in this case, our a would be ln x, and our r is also ln x. OK. So we see the absolute value of ln x is less than 1. All right, let's let's call ln x. Let's make it some variable some variable t. So the absolute value of t is less than 1. So I mean that means t would be less than, would be negative one would be less than t, which is less than one to get rid of the absolute value. All right. So our t was ln x. So let's bring our ln x back in there. To get rid of the ln x, we raise this to the e. So 
e raised to the negative one. I mean, e raised to the negative one is less than x less than e raised to the one. We did that to get rid of the ln. So e raised to the negative one is just one over e, which is less than x, which is less than e. So this right here would be the values of x for which the series converges. Now we want to find the sum of the series for those x values. So we just plug into our formula a over 1 minus r. So that would be ln x over 1 minus ln x. All right, let's do another example. Let's take negative 4 raised to the n, x minus 5 raised to the n. So once again, we write it out. <clears throat> when n is 0, anything raised to 0 would just be 1 plus negative 4 raised to the 1, x minus 5 raised to the 1, plus 4, n is 2 squared, x minus 5 squared. Alright, so here we have our a is 1, and our r is negative 4, x minus 5. Alright, so we have the absolute value of negative 4 x minus 5 is less than 1. We take the negative 4 out of the absolute value, we're just going to get 4 absolute value x minus 5 less than 1, which would leave us with x minus 5 is less than one fourth all right so to get rid of the absolute value we're just going to have negative one fourth is less than x minus five <clears throat> which is less than one fourth here we add the five so we'd have negative one fourth plus five less than x less than one fourth plus Five. All right. So if we were to find the common denominator, we would get 19 over 4 is less than x, which is less than 21 over 4. So this would be the values of x for which the series converges. Now we want to find the sum of the series for those x values. So we use the formula, once again, a over 1 minus r. We said a was 1, 1 minus r. All right. So we have 1 over 1 minus, distribute this out, you'd have negative 4x plus 20. Here you would have 1 plus 4x minus 20, which would give you 1 over 4x minus 19. And this would be the sum of the series for those x values. Alright, so let's do one more example. Let's say we have the series x minus 2 raised to the n over 3 raised to the n. 
So when n is 0, we'd have 1 plus x minus 2 over 3 raised to the n, which, which would be when n equals 1 plus x minus 2 over 3 when n is 2. All right, so once again, this is a plus ar plus ar squared. Keep going. So here, a would be 1, and r would be x minus 2 over 3. All right, so in order for this to be true, r has to be the absolute value of r has to be less than 1. So absolute value of x minus 2 over 3 has to be less than 1. So we'd have x minus 2 has to be less than 3. So we'd have negative 3 less than x minus 2 less than 3. So we'd add a 2, negative 3 plus 2 just be negative 1 less than 3 plus 2 which would be 5 so this right here would be the values of x for which x would converge alright now you want to find the sum you would have 1 1 remember the formula is a over 1 minus r so 1 over 1 minus, we said r was x minus 2 over 3. All right, so we could simplify that as 1 over, you'd multiply this by 3, you'd get 3 minus x minus 2. Since you're multiplying the denominator by 3, you have to multiply the top by 3. So you'd have 3 over 3 minus x plus 2, you'd get 3 over 3 plus 2 is 5 minus x. So this would be the values. This would be the sum of the series for those x values. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.